So let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in multiple dimensions, part five, back to basics. In today's episode, we wanted to get back to working with our scales. We have made a command decision here to work with all four remaining scales. In other words, when we did a little double check against our ideas, where's our ideas? It's over here. Um, these are the scales we had not used yet, and we said, why don't we just use all four of them? So that's where we're that's where we're starting out. And so we spent some time going through them, reminding ourselves what are the minor major intervals. And to do that, we used our the reference sheets from here. And we also reminded ourselves what are the consonances, and reminding ourselves that the minor scale and the major scales. have consonances that are sometimes lower than the full scale. See, 1.2 is lower than 1.5. And sometimes they have consonances that are higher, like the 2331 has a 1.8 and the full has a 1.5. And that made sense because here the minor major scales have intervals of three in them, which are decent. But when you overlay them, you, you get down to twos and ones. And then up here, the highest consonance is the 2442 scale, which is a 2. But when you overlay them, you get rid of all the 4s, and now you come back down again. So we did that, and then we also created our first score here, where we've simply put in the full scales and gone through and labeled. We also color labeled them here. The blues are the modes. And the reds are the active notes, the urges. So we'll play this for you, and then we will take us home, because we really do need to have some ideas for next time. Here we go, playing the four scales, full scales. <laughs> And a few things we found interesting, they all have a B major urge, uh, which is no big surprise in the sense that they all have a root of C. So if they're going to have a B, it's going to be a major urge. Uh, fun, fun observations over here. It's easier to see with the colors that E flat is a minor mode in this scale and a major mode in that scale. And F is a major mode in this scale and a neutral in this scale. The neutrals are different in all four scales. No, this has the same neutral as this one. And again, these two scales have no function notes, nuns. Um, but what's interesting there is that uh, in this scale, the minor the minor nun and the major nun, minor nun precedes the major nun, whereas down here, the major nun precedes the minor nun. So we anticipate lots of interesting combinations, and we're going to put all four of them together, and this is our, our this is where the idea of the multi-dimensional uh, comes in. Um, multi-dimensional comes in by using four rather than two combined combinings combinings of scales so our ideas for next time are pretty obviously continue working with four scales at once. E.g. exploring 
overlaying uh, snippets and overlays, perhaps. Perhaps what I'm going to say. So that concludes today's stream. Thank you for your time and attention. We're glad to be back to basics, working with the musical scales. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, and as always, keep on streaming.